I wonder what grand adventures in store today. Is that Sarah? Yep. Where's she going? Wherever she wants. Oh, I see. I see. Sarah and I haven't been talking much lately. Not for lack of trying. Conversations just get weird. I know the runes have something to do with it. Somehow, in some way, they've changed her. Hey, did you hear? Monsters on the loose, huh? Huh? <laughs> I'll leave it to the pros. Good luck. Day in, day out, it's the same old thing. Or it used to be. Change is coming. But I can't for the life of me guess what it is. And I know change. Better than most. But this, this has me stumped. Everyone's here. Good. This isn't anything we haven't done before. We'll be home before dinner. All right. Hey, cheer up. You're the one who's got the most to look forward to out of all of us. Uh, I bet he and Sarah are fighting. So, what? No one's eating? We're eating, and we're not fighting. Uh, really now? Because I heard Sarah's going out on her own without you. So what? We're siblings, but we're not tied at the waist, thankfully. Give the boy a break. He's right. Family's important, but part of being family is respecting each other's individuality. See, while we're out here hunting monsters, she's looking after the homestead. Everyone has their role, and we trust each other to carry it out. How else would we get along? You too, Kay. Of course. You already knew that. And who are you, huh? The Taskmaster or something? Just call me the chief of this motley crew. Our rules, huh? I knew mine before, but now that the prophecy is finished, things are less clear for me. Sarah, on the other hand, well... Okay, so just between us, why are you guys fighting? Between us four? Come on, just spit it out already. Sarah's not a child, Kay. She doesn't always need to be at her big brother's heels. I'm not trying to be nosy, I'm just worried is all. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you weren't even related. Um... Kay, drop it. Whatever's going on, it's between siblings, okay? You wouldn't want Sarah to hear you're stirring the pot for no reason. Uh, no. Then, Kay, just leave it be. Not even related. Well, 
he'd be surprised to hear how close to the truth he actually is. Maybe this distance between us is just the way things are meant to be. Another day's work squared away. Not quite. We still need to examine the feed. Okay, let's go. Yes, sir. Feels like it's gotten more dangerous lately, but this is Palamacia. Still, I can't shake this feeling. The feeling that something's changing. That the world's changing. That Sarah's changing. Am I missing something, or am I just worrying too much? Time will tell. Let's head back, yeah? Okay. Oh, and by the way... What? I'm not saying Kay's right, but if something's actually going on between you two, fix it. If you spend too long looking the other way, by the time you see what's coming, it's usually too late. Yeah. Thanks, Chick. It's hard to fix something that isn't necessarily broken. Still, he has a point. I can't just do nothing. Wood. Don't ask me. My hands are full. Wood that I could. Ha ha. Well then get someone else to do it. Did you forget? I'm your only friend. Don't I... Uh, need help? Really? Nothing else on my plate. These two are making a storehouse for the village. Need to stock up on food before winter comes. I have to think about things like that these days. I'm really sorry to impose. We're facing a bit of a labor shortage recently. Yeah, because nobody wants to work with you. Hey you, shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Okay, so what do you need me to do? Simple. We need you to gather supplies for the storehouse.
Oh, you are a lifesaver. With the supplies you gathered for us, we should have the storehouse ready in time for winter. Huh. Is it just you two building it? It might take a while in that case. Yeah, it's just us. We did have a full crew before, but most of them just up and left all of a sudden. Maybe... Maybe I was too hard on them. Can't deny that, but you don't deserve all the blame. They didn't just quit our crew. They left the village entirely. Said something about building a tower? A tower? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me either. Let them build their tower. We know what this village needs, and that's a storehouse. Now, let's get to work while the sun's still shining. <laughs> you got it, boss. Of all the changes occurring in the village recently, the rumors of this tower are the most troubling. I don't know where it is or what it is, but people are being drawn to it. The first thing that comes to mind is the tower I saw in the rune, looming high above the sky. There's gotta be a connection. Have other people seen it? How many runes are showing that same vision? Can't thank you enough for what you've done, but I think we can manage from here, somehow. Hey, have a little faith. I'm tough because I care. Well, go care somewhere else. Before I go, how's Sarah doing? Why do you ask? I saw her going into the forest. I know she's a tough gal, but even I'd be leery of going into those woods alone. Tell her to look after herself, okay? Yeah, thanks. Huh. What has Sarah been doing out in those woods by herself? Obviously, I should just ask her. Maybe I should have just done that while things were still... normal between us. Oh well. If the best time was then, the second best time is now. I just need to find her and ask. Easy, right? Right. What am I doing? The warrior of light, reduced to creeping around like some blushing farm boy. If I had just said what I needed to say before, when it was easier, I wouldn't be in this mess. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe I just took it for granted that things wouldn't change. And now it's too late, and I didn't even see it coming. That doesn't mean I have to let things stay this way. Would you look at me? When did I get so insecure? I convinced myself I was protecting Sarah, but really I was just getting complacent. Getting used to those peaceful, boring days. Getting used to being Sarah's brother. to apologize. I'm the one who was lurking in the shadows like a fiend. That's okay. I... I've been meaning to speak with you. There's someone I've been wanting you to meet for some time. Meet? Here? Now I don't know what to expect.
Well, this is new. The way Sarah's walking, you'd think she's a seasoned leader. Someone used to being followed by others. And here I am, her follower, ready to go wherever she sees fit to take me. The old me would have been ecstatic about having someone else take the lead for once, but now, I'm not sure how I feel. Annoyed, irritated, whatever it is, it's a far cry from how my former self would have reacted. Don't like it. I have to ask, are you angry with me? Why? For... For hiding things from you. Not at all. That's good to hear. It's just a bit further. Let's go. I wasn't mad, really. Not at Sarah, at least. If I was mad at anyone, it was at myself. How did I let things get like this? What was I doing this whole time with my grand gestures of protecting Sarah? Was I just making myself feel good? Either way, it doesn't look like Sarah needed my help after all. Maya! We're here! Who? Finally, we're able to meet. So you're... <laughs> For the first time, yes. I am Maya. Sarah has trusted me to teach her the art of combat. Well met. Yeah, nice meeting you. So, I take it this is who I have to thank for your impressive growth and skill. Yes, Maya has been very patient. I apologize if you deem her instruction to be unwelcome. Why would I think that? Hmm. Now I see it. What? Oh, nothing. It's nice to finally put a face to Sarah's stories. If only you could have met sooner. We have so much to talk about. You see, we found something recently. And I think you could help us make sense of what it is. Really? Yes. Maya, it's time we show him what we saw in the rune. Agreed. Shall we? A rune? Those are bad news. That tower looming in the distance, those rocky hills, they're calling me. And I feel that I must answer that call. I've never been more certain of something. This is more than an idle fancy. And so, I... I must go. No matter what. I see. Sarah, you do not have to make this journey alone. Surely your brother would accompany you. I'm sure he would. But this is my journey, and mine alone. I'm sorry. I truly am. But this is how it has to be. I hope you can understand. Sarah, wait. She seems determined. Sarah's been full of surprises recently. I probably should have seen them coming, though. When was it that I stopped paying attention? When did I forget that Sarah was always determined? 
This isn't unusual. The whole time we were living together, was I just looking at the wrong things? It was for the best to make this our first meeting, yes? Yeah, sorry to make you party to the deception. It gets confusing. What can I say? What should I hide? It's tiring. Indeed. It does seem a difficult facade to maintain. I do not envy you the burden. <sighs> Especially now. What do you mean by that? Being siblings is difficult, isn't it? So she told you. I understand why you've hidden the truth from Sarah. I know you only mean to protect her. However, you should know by now she is not the type to be content as the damsel in distress. It was inevitable that she would find her own journey. The rune simply gave her the final push she needed, so to speak. Do you really think there's nothing more to it? Would that I could say for certain. Either way, I ask that you continue to look after her. If indeed the rune's intent is malicious, if indeed Sarah is being led upon a perilous road, then you must be the one to save her. If anyone can, it's you. Lately, it seems like my help is the last thing she wants. It would seem you have quite a bit to mull over. In the meantime, try not to worry. I shall look after Sarah for now. For some reason, I thought these peaceful, boring days would last forever. With no more prophecy, what else would happen? But I guess I was wrong. Things are already changing. Not only the world, but the people too. I didn't even notice. Or maybe I did, and I just couldn't bring myself to accept it. I wanted things to stay the same, so I refused to acknowledge the obvious. When I was forced to acknowledge it, I stood there silent. I couldn't do anything. Well, not anymore. I'm done ignoring what's in front of me. I won't shy away from the truth anymore. I suppose I'm not as strong as I thought I was.